Hey guys, how's it going? So I bring to you uh, more of a side grade than an upgrade. The i9-14900 KFCP was just recently released yesterday by Intel. Now I'm not expecting any huge gains or anything. The main reason I got this is because I want to try to go for uh, over 6 gigahertz uh, overclock. So I did get this chip in today. And we're going to install my rig. And we are going to use the uh, Thermal Grizzly contact frame to help uh, with uh, thermals. And I am going to be cooling it with a 420 millimeter. AIO radiator. So I'll show that when it's installed with the thermal uh, Grizzly uh, contact frame and then we'll take things from there. So this will be a little mini review. We're just going to test some overclocks, maybe do a uh, time spy 3D mark and run a Cinebench uh, R2024 to see how it uh, compares with my i9 3900K. So again, I'm not expecting any huge gains. I mean, in gaming, I'm sure many of you already saw the YouTube reviews. It's pretty much between 1 and 3% gains. Uh, between uh, 1080p and 1440p and 4k doesn't really show any significant gains and so I'm really only doing this just so I could get some higher overclocks and see if I could at least, re at least reach uh, 60 gigahertz all core overclock so let me get this installed and I'll show you how it looks uh, with the thermal grizzly contact frame so stay tuned okay guys so I got the i9 1400k CPU installed with thermal grizzly uh, contact frame I did uh, evenly tighten those four screws just very minimally and uh, we are running an MSI Z690 Unified motherboard. So let me uh, add some uh, Thermal Grizzly uh, Extreme Cardinal Paste and then uh, we're going to install my um, Corsair H170i Elite LCD with a 420mm radiator and we'll get this installed. We'll set up an overclock and then test low temperatures and like I said a benchmark of the CP. So stay tuned. Hey guys, so we're up and running with the H170i Elite LCD with 420mm radiator and my i9 1400K CPU. So we're in the BIOS here. As you can see, we're running the i9 1400K CPU. Uh, unfortunately, this wasn't a very good uh, silicone lottery, so my uh, all-core overclock is only 5.7 GHz, uh, which really is no gain from my i9 1300K CPU. So unfortunate, but I guess that's the luck of the draw. Uh, I did set my E cores to um, 4600 megahertz, and the ring ratio is at 5100 uh, megahertz, which is a slight uh, gain over my previous chip. And my RAM, I got XMP enabled uh, PC front RAM, G Skill Z5 DDR5, and my voltage is set at 1.295 voltage, which basically runs at 1.298 uh, voltage. So we're going to run a set of bench uh, R2024. Uh, 3D Mark Time Spy, and then uh, we'll see the results and compare my previous CPU. But so far, no real upgrade and definitely not worth the money, as are my basic uh, thoughts. So, Okay guys, so the first test we're going to do is Cinebench R2024. And just to uh, further clarify, we are at 5.7 GHz all quarter clock. And I'll have Core Temp running. I'm not going to have CPU-Z running, we're going to try to have the minimal uh, things running. And we're just going to do the short duration test. So we're going to do the uh, CP mostly core and a uh, single core uh, test and also the GP benchmark. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so we're just about almost done with the test. I want to show you the temperatures. So my max temp so far has been 95C on one core. And these are all the temperatures of all the other cores. And so the score was uh, 2,381. I did run a test earlier where I got uh, 2,407. So as you can see, compared to my i9 1300KF, a uh, very small gain. But it is what it is. It's uh, you know silicone lottery. You never really can guarantee if you're going to get a good chip or not. So I don't know if I'm going to have to exchange this or what. But it's kind of unfortunate. But I guess expected. It's not really much of an upgrade. But it is what it is. So we'll do the single core test next. And then we'll show the score. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so I uh, finished the single core test and I ended up getting 133 points, so just a gain of one point. <laughs> Nothing much, but I guess it's expected that, uh, you know, not much of an upgrade, but... So next we're going to do the GP test and I'll show you the uh, GP clock space in just one second. Okay, so I'm running an HS6 RTX 4090. I have the uh, G GP overclock and this whole... 200 megahertz on the core and memory is still 1185 megahertz. Uh, core voltage is 100% maxed out with a forced uh, constant voltage power limit is 120%. It 
and the fan I will have it at 100%. I just have that auto right now because I want to keep things quiet. And the game running the latest NVIDIA drivers, and uh, these are the actual GPU clock speeds on the uh, GPU state. Resizable bars and able to run the GP benchmark and since are R2024, and we'll take things through. I'll take things straight. I'll show the results at the end. Stay tuned. Okay, so I ran the GP test and I got 38,851. And compared to my previous score with the uh, uh, 13 gen CPU, I just got a small little gain there, just of like uh, 12 points or whatever. So not very much. Okay, so next we're on a 3D Mark Time Spy and we'll compare uh, with the 13 gen CPU. So stay tuned. Okay, guys, so I ran 3D Mark Time Spy and I got 34,714 with a CPU score of 21,000. 122 and total graphics score 39,162. So again, very small gain over my 13 gen. I'll show you my 13 gen scores. So go ahead and take a look at the 14 gen. I'm gonna go to the 13 gen now, and I got 34,617 with the CP score of 20,956 and a graphics score of 39,118. So again, go back to the 14 gen. So very small gain. Uh. In comparison so so that's that and again these were the GP overclock settings my 4090 and the CPU was at a uh, 5.7 gigahertz all core block it's right now idling so it's not showing the actual you know speed oh there it is briefly so yeah there it is uh very much so not too much of a huge upgrade um, all I could say is I wouldn't really recommend uh, if you already have the 13 gen CPU, if you have the 13900K, it's an upgrade to the 14.9 gen, <clears throat> 14900K, so it is what it is, like I said, and I guess that's it, at least I did the test, and I didn't see any any overclock videos online, so um, I guess that basically shows you uh, what to expect out of the uh, i9 13900K of CPU, so overall I'll probably give it a uh, three out of five stars um, I could probably have a better silicon lottery and have better luck so I do have the option to exchange this um, but I don't think I am unless I really decide that I want more uh, clock speeds but uh, yeah I was hoping to get at least six gigahertz or even 5.9 gigahertz but I guess that really wasn't uh, very much so possible so uh, like I said overall I'll give it about three out of five stars and um, if you already have a 13 gen CP, no reason to upgrade. And I think a lot of you already know from seeing the reviews. So, uh, anyways, if you did like the video, give it a like. I know it's disappointing results, but, you know, I guess at least I got some gain. And uh, some good news is I did sell my uh, 13 gen CP for $500. So, I only lost about roughly $100 after tax uh, in the price I paid. So, that's about it. So, thanks for watching. And if you did like the video, give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, more gaming videos, uh, featuring this new CPU for free to subscribe. So thanks for watching. See you guys around and uh, peace out.